Hello everybody, Grace Snow Blazer, we're back with more Train Mechanic Simulator with some years after it. Let's freaking fix this thing. Now if you remember correctly, this thing has all kinds of crap done with it. And of course, the fuses are also burned out. Why wouldn't they be? Why wouldn't they be? It appears that damages to the locomotive are serious. Find all of the damaged pieces and repair them. Alright. Well, found one. Uh, there is, how many were there? Like five, six, seven? Oh, Gray can't count. Yep, it's seven. All right, so let's start doing a little bit of testing now and again. Oh, I found another one. Can you boys find them? There is parts all over this damn thing that we're going to need to rip off. I think I saw the hydraulic thingamabob on here. It's also jacked up the dampener of the axle box. There it is. What else we got? Let's take a look, see here. How are the springs looking? Eh, the springs are looking not terrible. How about this side? Everything over here, over here looks surprisingly decent. So I kind of wonder, are there only like a couple of pieces on this side that are all jacked up? Well, this is going to, we're going to have to take a bunch of things off to actually get to this. So let's go ahead and start. Yeah, so you need to get rid of this dampener right quick. Let's go ahead and peel this thing off. Way back here, the engine mounting is next. Oh my God, there's so many bolts. Been a while since I had to remove an engine mounting, so I forgot how many bolts it is. Man, I feel like our, like our uh, unbolter do thing is moving much, much faster than it was previously. I know I upgraded it a bunch, but I feel like it's moving faster than before. Check some of these batteries here. Oh, what is this? Is that just a shadow, or is th are those batteries particularly craptastic? They look pretty bad. Um, nope. I guess it's just a shadow. All right. Well. Foolish me. Oh, right over here, though. Look at this. Right over here. The damp... Not that. Oh, I can't... Why can't I select you? This is odd. Oh, I bet I have to select this, and now I can probably do it. Is that how it goes? That is how it goes. Okay, so whenever you're, like, in one location, like, you, you select on the battery area, you have to leave that in order to test new areas? All right, well, whatever. Oh, I need to take a better look at the springs, too. Because it's totally possible that a bunch of these springs are all jacked up. We've got several more dampeners back here that can go. So we're on our way. This is going to be four pieces out of seven. So that's not too shabby. And I think I see something sitting way back there in the background. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. I can see inside of you. Deep inside. And I don't really find anything in particular on the insides over here. Must be missing something. How about way over here? Anything in particular? Ah, uh, no. How come this whole thing looks like it's all outlined? There we go. That was weird. The whole thing was like one giant outline. I don't know why that was. It was all real weird, though. It was hard for me to see anything. Let's go ahead and, like, wander around these parts over here. Uh, springs are looking okay. Is it? Is it just me, or is this cooling pipe look bad? Oh, how would I have found that? Other than sheer luck, because it's, like, right in the middle of these two units here. Look at that crap. They're trying to hide stuff on us. Oh, man, what a bunch of jerks. Holy crap. This looks kind of beat up. The frame? I don't know. Hold on. Let me get up on the roof here and see if I can grab this thing. How do we... How do we... How do I aim up here? There we go. I think that that got us there. Nope. The frame is fine. I guess let's go ahead and check the fuses. It did mention that there may be something wrong with the fuses here. Oh, fuses. You're so far away. Let me go ahead and teleport down here to you. What do we got going on down here? Oh, it's so shady. It's so shady, I can't see anything. I think I see at least two that are all jacked up. Again, I, I, you have to like, I have to like get up out of here. Maybe go around this side and then come in this way, perhaps? There we go, yes. Oh, fuses, there we go, okay, good. So now, do those count? Because it said check the fuses, but do those count as the extra uh, pieces that are all screwed up? Look at this. Not found. So there's one last item that we need. Um, and then I think that the rest of these fuses are okay for the most part. Woo! I found it. Holy crap. It was another one of the dampeners over here. Man, that was actually pretty damn tough. Let's go ahead and rip this thing off. Just a couple of bolts stand between us and a successful repair. And I think we're going to get pretty close to the steam engines. That's my big goal tonight. I want to get to steam engines, damn it. That is everything. Sweet. Let's go ahead and put this stuff into the repairing area, put it back on the train, get her out of here, and see what's next. Over at the electrical workbench, you guys were saying if you have a 66% chance, it counts as a 100% chance. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and repair this fuse over here, because why not? 
These other fuses are jacked. This traction converter is fine. Um, I, I pulled this out, I think, by accident. I don't think there was any reason for me to pull that out. Do we have any money left over that I can buy a better electrical portion to this? I think we do. Oh, we do. We, we have just enough to buy it. Um, actually, let's do the mechanics area first because we'll probably save a lot of money on this. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this right here. We got a 100% chance over here, too. Oh, so good. Oh, yes. That's what I like to say. I got... I, one of the comments I see all the time is like, at this time, close your eyes and listen. I assume it's me being like, oh yeah, that's the stuff, that's what I'm talking about. I never really thought about it until I started getting those comments. Oh wow, we have 100% on all these. See, all those upgrades were well worth it. You guys were saying too, that a lot of the weird text that we were seeing was Polish. I think it was. So, that's cool. I, I, the developer, maybe they're Polish? I'm not really 100% sure. That would make sense in that case. Everything here is getting fixed. We are doing fantastic. The only thing left is that one fuse. So, let's see if we can go ahead and put a point into it and call it good. Right over here, four out of five on the electrical workbench, which makes a lot of sense since we're with the electrical trains. Man, still 31%. All right, so we do have to buy a 15 amp fuse. Let's freaking do it. 15 amp fuse, 600 bucks. We're gonna have to pay $10 just to order it, but whatever. Wow, we are like way behind the monetary schedule. I'm so happy about that. We've got a lot of money left over. So let's start installing stuff. Uh, looks like, oh, way on the other side. Let me go ahead and flip flop around right over here. There it is, dampener. Get your ass on there. Another one over here as well. Yeah. Now, now that I look at it, it definitely seems like the bolts are moving a lot faster. Um, maybe it's just me, but are we, do we have something over here that we can throw on? Remember, there's like a random pipe in like the middle of nowhere. We're going to have to be real cautious about getting that pipe in. I think it's up here by the water and oil coolant. Can I get up that far? Oh, there it is. See the outline? Just barely there. I think it slides right on. Yes. Perfect connection. Excellent. Got a couple of those fuses too. Let's go ahead and move back over to the other trucks over here. Which I do believe is where we need to be. We didn't come from this side, did we? Oh, we did, didn't we? Scumbags. Oh, while we're here though, we got some fuses up in here that we can chuck on in, don't we? Let's move on in. Oh, oh, it's so high. It's so low. There we go. Okay, that looks better. I decided I'm gonna mess with the fuses in a little bit. First things first, engine mounting. What really happened was I couldn't get my damn handle on the fuses. So I'm gonna pretend that my plan was to save them for later. Is it working? Let's put the engine mounting on. After this, there's only a couple, yep, here we go. I was gonna say, there's only a couple more of the uh, dampener axles and I think we're almost done with the entirety of the train. We just have to put those fuses back in. This better be a damn good bit of payment we're getting here. I haven't even looked. Isn't that terrible? I'm just taking jobs. I'm not even looking at what the point value is, or point value, what the price is. Having a good time just messing on trains, man. Messing with trains, not messing on trains. You don't wanna mess on the train. You probably get thrown off. And the last two fuses, look at them, just barely there. Hold on, let's go ahead and shove it in. Right here, 15 amp fuse, and then the 25 amp fuse. And are we done? We should be done, man. Finish order. Oh yeah, we got everything. Extra 750 bucks, I think it is. Oh, while we're at it, hold on now. Let's make sure to get our extra $40. I want my $40, boys. And finish another train off, and that was the blue and silver special. I like, I really love, or blue and gray, I think that's a better, that's a better way to call this combination. I'm a big fan of the color combination blue and gray. Feel free to let me know what your favorite combination is. I'm always curious what people's aesthetic pleasures are. Job order number six and seven. We know the problem with one of the trains. Check the train's condition and make necessary repairs. All right. And then we have a problem with the locomotive, which is stopped on the route. It was towed to the workshop. It looks like a problem with the cooling system. All right, let's go ahead and grab this one real fast. And then we'll do the cooling system one and we'll be moving right along. Check the condition of the front pentagraph. Check the condition of the rear pentagraph. All right, so only three parts, huh? Didn't we already, I feel like we already did this one or something. This is weird. Did we already mess around with the pentagraph? Hmm, what could it be? Could it be this part? 
No. Could it be this part? No. Could it be this? Really? Really? I can't select any of this? There we go. Can it be this part? Yeah. <laughs> It did not want to play nice. I think this one as well. Yep, both of them. Sweet. Let's go ahead and disassemble it. Now, I think that you have to take a couple of things off to get this thing. Uh, slide. Okay, so we can't slide that off yet. What else has to come off first? What do you want to come off? Ah, the pantograph tubes. But before the pantograph tubes, this main thing has to come off. Then these have to come off. Then this has to come off. Then this. No. No, this has to come off. Damn, you have to take the whole thing apart. Then this. And then this. There we go. Okay, that's everything on that one. That's only two pieces, though. We remember, we need three. So the other one should be... Let's go grab the roof here. You want to be on the roof to do this. It doesn't seem that you're able to select just anything all willy... No, never mind. This one's a lot easier. Man, even if you're blind, you can figure this one out. This is pretty fantastic. Although, I bet we're going to have to disassemble damn near the whole thing. Okay, so this job is different than our last job. Because if you remember, it was pretty easy disassembling the last one. This one, we have to disassemble damn near everything to get this pentagraph thing off. We're going to get this tubing out. Do I have to continue to get rid of all this? Yeah, I sure do. Wow. I had to take the entire damn thing off. There we go, though. Everything is just fine. What was that other order? Check the condition of the rear. Oh, well, we did both. Everything should be just fine. Uh, over to our workbenches. We should be able to get this done pretty fast. Now, if I remember correctly, this was a mechanic-style thing, and it is. Pentagraph tube, 31%, but we have a 100% chance. Excellent. Very good. Keep on moving along here. The spring, $1,800 to fix the spring. All right, now you guys said 66% is basically 100, so let's find out if you're right or not. Okay, maybe it was luck. Maybe I just rolled the dice very well. You never know. And then over here, another one, fully functional, and that's it, man. That is it. We are fully, we are completely done. Let's throw everything back on here and get this thing out. Man, we got tubes and crossbars. You got to get right in the middle here to get some of these springs and stuff like that. Look at this tiny little tube over here. You got to just barely click on it in order to get it. There we go. And that is, oh, the big slider. Got to put the sliders down. And that should be everything on this side. Yes, that is everything. All right, let's rush on over to the other side and get up. Got to climb up on top here, although I think you'd figure there'd be like a lift or something like that to bring you up there. I have a feeling that just like jumping on top of the train is not really the best way. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe after so long doing this, you just get so accustomed to being on top of the train that you're not really worried about falling off. I don't know. I've fallen off of a lot of different things in my time, guys. A lot of different things. I fell off of a boat that was on a trailer. That was in motion one time. How's that for some crazy crap? All right, everything's done. This is a big old monetary order, too. We just got paid on this one. Paid big time. And we got all of our achievements. $2,000 for that one. So, we're moving right along. Let's check to see what the next job is. And I think, man, come on. We got to push on through and get those steam engines up. The locomotive has a damaged water and oil cooling system. Find and remove the cause of the defects. Check the condition of the batteries. Okay, that's not a problem. Batteries are, like, very easy to mess with. Um, so let's go ahead and pull the body off. Yeah, see, right there. This is this is what I'm talking about. It's like, it's like no big issue. Get these batteries, pull them on out, get up out of here, move on over to this one. Looks like we got some jacked up batteries over here, too. How do you like that crap? Double check real quick. Yep, they're shot. Out you go. And there's always these, like, very, very dark batteries in the background. I feel like I have to check them. Oh, God. The water and cooling system is, like, a lot worse off than I thought it would be. Look at this. Just standing here, you can see how messed up it is. Let's go ahead and open this up. And what do you have to pull off? Ah, the cooling pipe, which is also craptastic, has to get removed. And then it looks like this one as well. Yep. So all of it was all in the same chunk. Awesome. Because that should be everything. This is going to be one of our fastest. Oh, no, it's not. There's more parts. I thought there was only like three parts that we had to deal with. All right. I guess there's extra parts. Yep. The other water uh, and oil cooling system is also screwed up. All right. So let's go ahead and remove this. Oh, we got to remove these as well. I guess I'll test them real quick. I don't think that anything looks bad. Ah, it's the little tiny one. It said that there was two things that we were missing. So this does make sense. Okay, that should be everything. Yep, sure is. Okay, excellent. Let's get this repaired and get it out of here because this one doesn't need any screws, bolts, or anything. We can just repair it and throw it back on there. So for the cooling systems... Wrong workbench, cooling pipe, though, you can fix. So I guess this falls under, would it be hydraulics? I guess it is hydraulics. Okay, uh, fine. That's, that's fine. 
Man, I feel spoiled with all these 100%s. We're getting like 100% everywhere, man. Look, this thing's down 9 9%, but our chance of success, 100. No big deal. We've been doing this for years. You guys know how it is. Everyone knows when they need the job done right, they come to us. And then the battery's at 66%. I'm going to go ahead and try and repair them at 66. No. Okay, so 66% is a giant lie. I have to buy two of these batteries. I'm not going to take my chances on the other one. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. Where were these at? Was this an engine part? Uh, yes, it was. So let's go ahead and buy two chunks of these. Shopping cart, $10 each, whatever. And we are still below value. So I think we're still going to get our bonus, which is kind of nice. Despite Gray's grave screw up, everything worked out well in the end. Throw a battery in there. We got one more. Oh, God, if I can grab it. Hold on, let me get out of this. We got one more... Oh, I was over here, but for some reason it shot me way the hell over on this side. That is not what I wanted at all. There we go. And now just the two oil and cooling systems, and this thing will be on out of here. Get those pipes in, which is no problem at all. These pipes are clean. Get in there. Yes. Okay, and then there's one on the other side. Can I flop around? Yes, I can. All right. Well, lucky me. Put that right there, just kind of line her up a little bit more so that I don't have to crane my neck around my monitor. Am I the only one that does that? You guys ever crane your neck around your monitor like as if though you could legitimately see better if you do it that way? Everything should be done. Yep, thousand extra bucks for us. I didn't even sell the other batteries, I don't think. I totally forgot. But we still got our money. It's not like it gives us any extra. It just kind of helps us complete the job to the utmost ability. We were told that a locomotive in the vicinity of the mountain pass caused a short circuit on the traction line. Tow it to the shop. So we got to get out there and find this thing. Short circuiting, huh? All right, let's go check it out. All right, so the mountain pass is way the hell over here. So let's start moving. We're kind of moving in the right direction here. And keep my eye on this. So we're going to want to go toward Suburban Station that way. There we go. That should move our tracks. Yep, that's going to move us along. And then we're, wanna go, we're going to want to go to East Great Lakes. And then I guess we'll just do a giant circle around the mountain pass. Sound the alarms, boys. Sound the alarm. All right, so here we are in the mountain pass. Um, let's take a look right over here. We want to go east pass. Oh, no, hold on now, hold on now. Crap, 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 crap. I want to go, I think, that way. Oh, oh, what is this? Straight up ahead here. Straight up ahead here. What do we got? What do we got? Right here. I think we need to go to the other pass to get it. What does it look like? It is just... Is it just on the track? I think it is. All right. Let's move back. We'll switch on over, and we should be able to get this in one shot over here. There we go. Now we're right online. Now, does it just connect, or do we have to use our X button? Nope. Just connected. All right. So we're set, man. All we have to do is just bring her back and fix it up. All right. We're back. And the train is... Oh, there's a lot of tasks over here. The probable cause of damage is failure of one of the elements of the power drive unit. The pantographs have also been damaged. The, the freaking fuses are also damaged. There's all kinds of damage here. The power drive unit. Where is the power drive... Oh, hi. Wow, okay. Uh, I think I found the power drive unit, or at least something that is slightly related to the power drive unit. Does this just come off? Wow, it does. Okay, uh, let's test this one as well. Yep, there we go. So those are the power drive units, the traction converters. And then let's go ahead and the pantographs and the fuses. Well, the pantographs are also all screwed up in, in so many different ways, I can't even begin to tell you. How did so much bad stuff befall this one freaking train? What ha what happened here? Oh, wow. Oh, we've got... Oh, my God. There is so many fuses that are blown out, too. Oh, this train is just in freaking shambles. It wasn't kidding when it said some sort of electrical problem. God! All right, I guess I'll grab all this stuff here. We got, what, four? Five fuses that are jacked up at the very least. I think that's it. Over here, it's so hard to see... Because it's, like, really dark. Oh, wow, these ones are messed up, too. Good thing I do... Oh, no! All the fuses aren't busted up, are they? Oh, God. Oh, there's so many fuses. All right, hold on. Let me check all these fuses. I might as well just do the... Do, I'll just do the right thing. There we go. All right, fuses. Come with old gray. 
All right, I think we got all that. Let's go ahead and fix up the traction converters, fix up the fuses, and see if we can put this damn thing back together. I assume mechanics parts for most of this. Yeah, see the slider over here at 66% again. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it worked that time. Rolling the dice, baby. Rolling the dice every once in a while. This tube over here has 100% chance, though, so that is no problem at all. You can see our spring over here, 100% chance as well. We're going to be moving right through this. All right, I think I purchased all the parts we're going to need. Let's see if we can throw all this stuff back together. Here goes the traction converter. Slides right in pretty good. Oh, let's see if I can get around the corner. Hey, other traction converter is in. Now we have a whole slew, a freaking slew of these um, fuses that have to get shoved in here. There's one right there. Put these over here. All right, I think that this is the last damn fuse. Let's uh, double check. Yep, all the fuses are in place. How is our thing looking over here? So checkbox, checkbox, and now the pantographs. All right, I'm going to put those things back on, and we'll be done and ready to go. All right, just a couple of pieces of pantograph tubing left. We got one over there. We got to get this spring down in there. A little bit difficult to grab it. But hold on, let me move on down here. There we go. Another tube on, then these two, and then the cross tubing. I think it's called the, uh, the hell is it called over here? Oh, no, we gotta go, gotta go inside, uh, right there. Yeah, there it is. Okay, the slider. That's what it's called, isn't it? The last thing is always the slider. Throw that there. I think it's the slider. It is the slider. All right, and that should be everything. It is. All right, let's go ahead and sell the rest of the stuff that we've got because why not? I think I still have several parts on me. Oh, God, look at all this. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell all this crap. We're not like we're going to be using all the broken fuses and sliders and everything for anything else. And there we go. Job order done. $3,000 and another successful job. That was one of the most items I think we've ever had to repair. Not the most that we've ever had to take off. Just the most that we've ever had to repair. Okay. What is the next job up here? We should be getting fairly close to the steam engines pretty soon. I think we needed 12 jobs done. During the load test, the electric locomotive was damaged. It was brought to the workshop as waiting repairs. It appears that the electrical power transformer is damaged. Okay, so just one item. We're going to do this super fast. Where is it? Nope, never mind. I found it. Right over here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Test it. Pull it. And that should be it. Just one item, right? Just one item? Just one item. This, now this may be the fastest job. Why do I keep going back to my office? It's like I go over there just to count my money or something. This is going to be the fastest job that we've ever done. I've got a 31% chance. I don't, I don't trust it. Let's go ahead and just buy ourselves a nice traction converter for 27 grand. But we'll go ahead and shove it in and get this train out of here literally in like a second. So let's go. Oh, we're on this side over here. Let's hop on over to this side. Look at the giant gaping hole in the middle of the train. Right over here. You know exactly where it goes. Blam. Let's go ahead and sell this piece for 5000 like that. And then a successful job. $1,000. We just made $1,000 with about 45 seconds of work, boys. Now that is a damn fine job to have. All right, boys, these are the next three jobs up on the chopping block, but I think that's going to be it for now. We've been at it for quite some time. It says in the vicinity of a steam locomotive depot, we received a report about an unknown defect of an electric locomotive. Forest rangers in the vicinity of the suburban station have noticed a damaged train, and the electric locomotive requires servicing to the fire extinguishing system. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of... Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. We're almost a steam, damn it. Till next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love. <laughs>